Hello everyone, welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems. So today we've got a system from Nick118 in Discord, so a massive thank you to him for sending this system in. But without further ado, let's check this out. So, just installed it from the workshop, it is there. Okay, right, let's see what we have got. Whoa, right. We got reading, we got a lot of reading. Right, so the Hecklerat system, hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is a binary system composing two stars in which there are multiple planets to check out along with many colourful major moons. There are planets that have conditions that are suitable for life and have stable climates, especially since they got moons of their own um, that runs the tidal forces of their planet specifically. As to the main star, Hecklerat, it is noted to be very sun-like. As for its companion, it is somewhat similar to the sun in some ways, but of course, unlike um, Hecklerat being bigger and more massive than the sun, the companion is smaller and less massive than the sun. There are also some interesting objects that hide their surfaces due um, to they contain a very thick atmosphere which is hostile to any human being. Uh, the system also has many planets that share many um, similar things to the solar system objects, some being like Jupiter. There are also many asteroids that have many erratic orbits um, that are also within their parent planets as well. But you may have also been impacted by the gravity of moons and the planet that keeps them somewhat stable. The gas giants are also notable for their complexity in which their moon systems, especially the large ones due to each one, has an interesting surface that may contain some more interesting yet useful minerals. With everything else relating to the system isn't as notable, which is um, what to expect for this kind of system. However, it was confirmed that the system is at least 6.5 billion years old, which is at nearly 2 billion years older than the sun. Cool. Please read if you want any more pronouns on the moon, please ask me on Discord. Cool. So there we go. All I ask is I do not want to steal my objects and claim as their own as objects. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so let's see what he has prepared for us here. So we've got two stars. Then we've got the planets. So star itself, like I said, sun-like. There's its stats. Moving on, first of the planets. So we're on our own for this. There's no guide to all the individual planets, so we can go through these at our own speed. So first one here looks like a Mercury-Moon combination of uh, craters. Bash to shreds, as you can see. And yet it's uh, quite large in size. Larger than Earth in mass and radius. Maybe you consider it a super-Earth version of Mercury um, here. Hot rock, 221. Hmm. Okie dokie. Looking good. Next up, we've got Divus. So he did say it had some similarities to the solar systems. Maybe he's made like like a sort of a alternate version of the solar system in a way, but with two stars. So Dervus instead of Venus, larger in mass and radius as well, but it's not as hot. There's a lot of action over there I can see in the background there. So here it is underneath. So the atmosphere though, very Venus-y like indeed, but not as hot. Interesting stuff there. Next up, we have got Umidor. So this is our Earth-like world. Pretty frozen up though compared to uh, good old Earth. So it's a lot colder. But still has that liquid ocean going on. So if we look at the temperatures here. So the hotter points go up to 217. The colder points go very, very cold. So an interesting uh, interesting uh, design we've got going on here. Okay. Look at its moons. Well, this one is very bizarre. Look at that. Definitely got some uh, textures mixed in there. Very mysterious. So there's one. Then the second moon over here. Very, very yellow. Like a volcanic Io kind of look. Cool. Looks great. Okay, next up we have got... Vista Rat. Visor Rat. So I'm guessing this is the uh, more Mars-like world. So it's only minus 9 degrees, so it's a lot warmer than what Mars is. Colour-wise, it's like a deeper, darker brownish red compared to Mars's more pinky red. Okay. And it has one moon called Lovus. Lovus. <laughs> very, very green. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, now moving on. Gas giants, I'm guessing. Volterra. So that is a great looking gas giant. Look at that. I really do like that. So here it is. So this is probably the dominant gas giant. 1.53 radius of Jupiter. 3.5 on the mass. Looking good. Nice. So it's got some moons. 
MO, I'm guessing they're like minor ones. Then we've got some larger ones here. Oh. Euvorian. So there's one there. Then we've got two. Oh, this one's a pretty exotic looking one. I like that. I really like the orange and red mixed in there. That's a great looking combo. How has he made that then? Let's spoil it. Planet 15 and Planet 3. Very red. It's got a red atmosphere blended in as well. And there's your colours. It's a good looking design. I really like the blending on that. It looks very, very cool. And we've got Boopert over here. Okay. And then another one over here. The last of the major moons. That is a very exotic blue. Whoa. Very cratered. What texture is that? Is that like a Vesta one or something? Pluto and Phobos. Phobos. Okay. Yeah, Phobos gives you some big craters, eh? We have to take some inspiration from that on some objects I design. Okay. Then the rest are just MOs. So the miners. So there we go. All the minor asteroid moons. Okay. Next up, we've got Everram over here. So here's probably our more Saturn equivalent. Nowhere near as massive. Got very colourful moons around this guy, though. Okay. Tilted on its side as well. Another minor moon, right? First of the bigger moons, though. Got a smaller, smaller colour one here. Very. So this guy likes his uh, likes his exotic coloured moons. Got Lemus over here. So there it is. Another uh, pretty exotic one. Cool, cool. Spows over here. Oh yeah, the blight cyan blue. Got one more here. Permona. Very thick atmosphere here. So it's like a Titan kind of equivalent going on, maybe. There it is. And the rest are all just miners moons, aren't they? Yep. Cool. Next up we got Malgoras. So more of an ice giant. There it is. Minor moons. Savinus, a very, very red moon, wow. Minus 200 here, so maybe another like Titan, cold, cold world underneath, thick atmosphere. The rest of minor moons. Then we've got Plumeras over here. So a very pale white ice giant. Surrounded by minor moons. Got one more major moon here. I think like a very volcanic looking world. Really torn up looking as you can see. Minus 230 degrees, but it looks like it is on fire. Let's actually put it up to make it look a little more... Oh yeah, it has a little more effect to it. Maybe it is a volcanic world. A bit of a little bonus there. Um, what else have we got? And the rest are all minor moons, okay. Next up we got uh, Hemesis over here. So we've got the second star to check out as well. Um, so this is in complete darkness. This is probably the Neptune equivalent of the system. Let's change the lighting mode. Let's go to um, let's go to directional. So there you go. What it looks like out of the dark. Emivis. Oh, very very bright. Oh yeah. So there's that guy, and then this one. Elute. And lastly, Yuven here. Yeah. Oh, that's a very wild one. The green and yellow color theme there. Cool, cool. Right, so there's those guys. That's all the main system out of the way. So now we're taking a jump to the second star. So this is the smaller one. Looks more like an orange dwarf, maybe, than a red dwarf. So the binary of its first planet. But there's its stats there. So, yeah, it looks more like an orange dwarf. Definitely not a red dwarf. It's definitely large enough to be a... It looks more like an Alpha Centauri B kind of size. Let's get a comparison. There's Alpha B. Yes, yeah, so, okay, a little smaller. But, I mean, it's it's definitely a lot bigger than a red dwarf. It's, that's definitely more of an orange orange dwarf isn't it really and obviously compared to a, the yellow dwarf which is a little little smaller than that but yeah definitely more of an orange dwarf kind of class uh in a binary with its closest planet this world's being torn imagine being in a binary with a star just as a planet this close especially if you're a rocky one. Oh man pretty crazy okay next planet out malaria created up like the light blue area patches in there as well, like little patches of water. Looks good. And we've got Malia over here. 
Got some sissy lights going on there as well. Looking good. Then we've got mullet, mullet there. Moving further out, we got this one. Alceras. Alceras. So it's very looks like it's a very thick atmosphere world as well. And underneath, where are we? Oh, oh, it's a gas giant. I thought it was a rocky planet. Ah, it's actually a gas giant. It looks like it's tilted on its side. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And this guy has a lot of moons, some miners, and we got some more uh, regular rocky worlds here. Sweet. So there we go. Cool, and then the rest are all miners. Nice, so there we go, so that does it for this system. So again, a massive thank you to um, Nick118 for sending this system in. Pretty cool, yeah, I enjoyed that. Some pretty wild designs in there. Look at the very colorful uh, moon show, that's for sure, look at that. Okay, check that out, let's line them all up. We'll call this like the colorful moon show system. <laughs> look at all the color, well, yeah. Oh, they're very exotic, nice. And there's obviously the planets. I really like these two. These two gas giants here. They're definitely the highlights for me. Especially this one. This one This one looks... This is the best gas giant. I think that one... Or realistic-wise, that is a great-looking gas giant. I really, really do like that one. But yeah, the red, the red one as well. The dominant gas giant. I really like that as well. That's a cool look. So yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system, guys. So let's just get the name of it again. It was the... Yeah, the Heckler Rat system. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, if you did, make sure to press that like button. And let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video, um, guys. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe. Help us on the journey to um, 31,000 subscribers. We're almost there already. We've only got like less than, I think we're less than 250 now. So, yeah, we're making good progress there. So, a massive thank you to you all for that. Really, really appreciate it. And, yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you all stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.